This is a Lamley unboxing slash preview brand new Auto World 2020 release two. I have two boxes because there are two mixes. Don't let the boxes fool you. You can see I've already cut them open because they fooled me. A and A, I believe they just put these together. They just use the same boxes to show me A and the B mix. We'll figure out once we open them up, but I did need to cut them open and say, because I was like, uh oh, did they send me the two of the same thing? They did not. Auto World always releases their premium in two colors, so there's two different mixes. If you go into a Walmart or something, sometimes they might have only shipped one mix. Sometimes they ship both, and sometimes there's a chase mixed in. They usually don't send me the chase, so I doubt uh, we'll see those in there because I like to show you the mix. So we're just going to go ahead and get these started. We are outside. It's always nice to do an outside unboxing when I can. Looks like we're going to go and turn these around this way. They might be a little bit turned around, but we'll match these cars to be sure. All right. We're going to start with this. We'll go ahead and pull them out of the boxes, and we'll get them on the turntable as well. So we've got, this is version B, so look, we're going to switch. We're just going on the fly. So version B of the Camaro and here's version, I'm assuming version A, correct. As you can see, the boxes are gone. They have been for a few mixes now and you can kind of see. So here we go, we'll start with uh, version A. Premium release two of the 2011 Chevy Camaro RSSS. There's your art. I'll show you the back of the card. I don't think you need to see the back of all of them, but you can. But this one's going to be in this orange color, I believe. Backgrounds are going to be a little bit different, and um, yeah, and then this one will be in this kind of more blue color. So this is from the Modern Muscle Mix. First one is, as you want to look at it, because they always give you Synergy Green. Very cool. Sometimes I think they actually try and replicate the actual uh, auto paint that's used here. And you can see, I don't have to read all of the stuff, all of the details here, but this one is very cool. It's got the Camaro striping on it in stock with the black rims, which might be more of a, um, might be more of a uh, uh, aftermarket rim. All right, next one, version B of the 2011 Camaro RSSS is in blue. Same deco, same wheels, only this time blue with the white stripes which looks fantastic. This is Imperial Blue, which I like as well. All right, so that's the A and B. I'm gonna try and uh, utilize these. All right, next one. Doing the outdoor unboxing, I'm kind of like a little flustered, but uh, you guys know I am a huge fan of Auto World. They, I didn't even mention, I don't think I even mentioned that they sent these to me. I should do that. Uh, to preview for you. So that would mean they're going to be in hobby dealers very soon, like a surplus goodies, and they're probably going to be in Walmarts very soon as well. It seems like the timing has been very good. All right. Premium Series release two version A of the 1966 Chevy Chevelle SS396 in Danube Blue Poly. I hope I said that right. Once again, a stock color. This one has the dog dish hubcaps on it. And you'll start to sense a theme with these. Uh, sometimes you'll see the differences are um, the Danube. Is the, okay, it's, it is the longest river in Europe, and that's what this one is named after. I kind of am reading as I'm talking. Uh, black interior, super detailed. You guys like know I'm trying to be a complete. No, I don't want to say a full completist with these. I'm not going to go back in time with a lot of these castings, but as the new ones come out, I collect them. 
um, and I love to show them to you. The next one, version B, is ermine, ermine white, with the black top. This one has the uh, this what the five spoke rims on it. So I don't know if these were stock rims or if they're um, or if they're custom, but it's a little bit different on there. So that's very very cool as well. I'm trying to see if there's a new casting. There may not be a new casting in this mix, uh, but we know the new castings are coming. All right. Next one. Oh, this is awesome. We're going Buick for version A. Let's find its counterpart. There it is. Version B of the 1975 Buick Estate Wagon. Nice to have another one of these. They've been doing They've been really nailing the wagons. They've done quite a few of these Buicks. They can play around with the headlights on these. They can make them different. This one's in Silver Mist Poly. Red interior, which I really dig on this one. So yeah, if you find the raw of this one, and only 10 of you will, um, it might look very similar, but maybe they'll do something that kind of uh, makes this one, give it its raw look. I like on the uh, artwork, Land of Enchantment, New Mexico. So it's cool they've given a shout out to New Mexico here on this one. Are they doing plates on all of them? Well, they might be. Have they always done plates from different states? I'm not sure. The grill also changed while we're wrapping around the fender. So this one has a different grill um, yeah, cool. All right, next one. Version B is in Verde Mist Poly. So this one has more of the wood paneling on the side. Black, or actually it might even be a green interior to match the green portion of the, uh, of the car. Roof rack, everything else. Because I'm looking at these outside or in the package, they're on the turntable now for what you're seeing, but I'm doing this later, so I can't look at the engine at this point. I'm trying to see. This one also has the Land of Enchantment New Mexico plates. All right, let's go. We got two trucks and a Jeep in this one, so let's go to the Jeep that debuted in the last mix, if I remember correctly. Two colors of that one. Pre of mix one, 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara in Firecracker Red. There's the art in true 164, of course. I don't know if there's any difference between this Jeep casting and the one that they released last time, but they are doing subtle differences as there needs to be. But I think in the 2018 year, there probably wouldn't be too many that they would, in too many body changes that I think that they'd make on this one. Wheels seem to be about the same. They've really been introducing a lot with these trucks and the, they've got what the Suburban coming out, Toyota Supra. All right, and here is the Billet Silver, another one that might be easily confused with the raw, but only 10 of you will have to worry about that, like I said. So there's only 10 raws done of these chases. Also unlimited Sahara in the Billet Silver, which looks cool. I don't see much difference other than color between those two. All right, you always have to save the square bodies for last. They're always the big stars. So we will, and we'll go back with, oh, actually no, we have a new casting. We do have a new casting. Let's save that for last. And let's go with the, uh, with the square bodies here. I thought that was the Ford. It's not, I forgot, it's the Chevy. So, here we are, two more square bodies. I need to do a full review of all of the Auto World square bodies because it's becoming quite the collection. There's been some hobby exclusives and things that uh, look good too. Version A. In brown, what is that, Irid Neutral? Um, this is the first use, new casting, 10,000 made, because they know these are popular. First use of our all-new 1977 Chevy C10 truck tooling. So this is a new tooling. Might look the same, but it's not. Maybe when we do the full uh, square body video, we can compare all of these and see all of the differences. So this is an actual new tool. I love the wheels on this. They seem a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit more detailed. You uh, square body fans, you Auto World fans, does that look a little different? They do look new to me. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but it probably has the closing tail as well. That's just a color combination that I, th when I think of square bodies, I think of that color combination. That is fantastic. And then this one in red and white looks very similar to a... Um, chase right the ultra red chase but it is not there's the artwork but this one sure looks close to it again those wheels are fantastic maybe they're not new maybe they just kind of look new 
tail opens, hood opens. I'm trying to see. Main difference in the 77 model is the reduced number of slots in the front grille. 1976 had 32 slots, but the 77 was reduced to 15 with a recessed grid pattern. So there's one of your big differences there is what's going on in the front grille. Is that on the other one too? Yeah. So yeah, we'll compare all those. See, it's nice. On the, they put a lot of good information on these cards right there on the front, which I think is awesome. All right. It's a little surprise, so let's go with the new casting in this one. We should always save the new one for last. So let's do that. And wow, this is cool, and this is big, and this is heavy. Brand new casting. It is the 2019 Chevy Silverado High Country. This is the version A in North Sky Blue. This is the first release of Auto World's brand new 2019 Chevy Silverado casting. We have tooled three different grills, rims, and tires for this casting. I don't know if these grills are the same. These grills look to be the same, so I'm imagining the next versions. Wheels look to be brand new as well. Be very um, specific to this truck is what it appears to be. I'll put the uh, open engine on the turntable too so you can see it because we're not looking at it now while I have it in the cards. That one looks awesome in blue and then even better, for me at least, in straight up black. It says we're able to replicate most trim levels in this truck including the custom LT, LTZ, Trail Boss, and the High Country. And the actual 1-1 vehicle length of 231.7 inches or 164 scale casting exact is exactly 3.62 inches long. That's awesome. That's what you do when you go exact to scale. So Auto World has really, really committed to the trucks and uh, new and old at this point. And I think hopefully all of us are, uh, are welcoming them with the uh, Jeep, the square bodies, and now the modern Ford and the modern Chevy trucks. All right, you guys tell me what you think. I think these are fantastic. They're going in the collection. Auto World is one of those premium brands that I collect. Tomek Limited Vintage, they're always, they're, they're kind of, uh, they're my American car version of Tomek Limited Vintage, even though they're jumping into the Toyota game. I have another brand that I'm going to feature probably tomorrow that I've added to that mix. Tomek Limited Vintage, Auto World, and now they're the third. You'll see that tomorrow. You guys tell me what you think. Bye.